Good morning. Thanks, guys, for coming up. So today we have a guest um, expert that is going to share a little bit about fishing. And his name is Ken Harqua. And he brought up some props for me. You guys, have you guys ever been fishing? Yeah. What do you like about fishing? Everything. <laughs> okay. Those are small. That's a net. What else do you need, um, Kent, when you go fishing? Um, bait. Uh, live bait. Uh, certain lures. Um, these poles here are ultralights. They're basically for catching smaller panfish. And then I have several, several <coughs> other poles that I use for catching larger. So we get to go on. Several nets. This one's fairly decent. The lesson that um, we're going to talk about is just found in Matthew, and it's about fishing. And it's about Jesus um, coming across the brothers that he asked to become fishers of men. So their expertise was in, in fish and catching as many fish as they can. And what, he, what Jesus did is he just came upon these brothers and he asked them to come follow him. And they dropped their nets and they dropped their poles and they did. They did just that. So Kent was talking about how we need special equipment when you're a fisherman, but when you're a fisher of men, meaning people, you just want to gather as many people as you can to just kind of learn about Jesus. And we have all those special tools right in our hearts. You don't need any special equipment or poles or special bait. People wouldn't like it if we tried to bait them with worms and hooks to try to get them to love Jesus, right? That wouldn't go over very well. But in this little basket I have here, it is a basket that just kind of, if you can, um, I'll have you take a fruit out, and if you can read what's on the fruit. Can you read that? It says, let me help you. It says patience. 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 Gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, love, self-control. Awesome. Thank you. So these are just some of the tools that God has given us that the <laughs> Holy Spirit brings in our hearts, and He. We just use these words, these tools in our, in our hearts to then go and share God's love. And really, that's all God wants us to do, is to just draw people in with our acts of kindness. Can you think of an act of kindness that you can do that might help draw people in? Maybe um, think about it at school. If you're sitting at the lunch line or sitting at your table and there's a friend that, that isn't there um, or doesn't have anyone to sit by, is that an example of what you could do? What could you do in that situation? Make sure you have an idea behind you. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. Sit with them. Yes, that is just one easy example of God's love and how we can share that and, and be better disciples because by having other people see our actions, that speaks very loudly in words. And so that's pretty much what the lesson was about today. So I have a little activity that I made. It's a fishing pole. And it's just to remind you all, 
Uh, oops, that one broke. Um, of love and my fishing poles are 